Welcome to PC Mac. Today I'm going to convert my Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus into a VPN server. So let's do it. First of all, let's go ahead and use Wireless Network Watcher to check the IP address of my Dite Pi. I'm using Dite Pi for this practical. So the address is right here 192.168.1.73. Let me just go ahead and close it and open SSH and type the IP address. Now let's go ahead and log in with the root and password. Now I'm logged in. So what I need to do is type Dite Pi software and hit enter it will bring this menu for us and we need to go into software optimized and look for pi vpn now let's go ahead and press the space bar to select pi vpn and then press ok by using the tab button and hit enter then we need to move down to install to install the package once i click ok it will start installing the pi vpn on our Diet pie so let's do it it will take around 5 to 10 minutes so i'll be back now as you can see this installer will transform your raspberry pi into open vpn server so let's go ahead and press enter to ok now the pi vpn is a server so it's need a static ip address let's press ok and let's press yes ok ok now we'll select our username diet pi and press ok again ok now it will enable the unattended upgrades yes now it's configuring itself it might take some more time to configure open vpn services on diet pi now from here we need to select the protocol so we will go ahead and select UDP as it's already selected and I prefer you also select UDP because it's faster than TCP. So let's press OK and we will go with the default port 1194. You can go with any other port if you want to write down any other port, any other specific port you can write down here. Then we just need to press OK. We'll go with the default port and yes and yes. Now we will select the recommended level 256 and press OK. Now it will generate the encryption for our OpenVPN server. So let's press OK. Now in this step, it detected my public IP address, but it's keep on changing after every 15 minutes. So what we'll do, we'll uh, select the DNS entry, the second one, and press the space bar to select it. Now how you can do a public DNS or you can say a dynamic DNS, let me just show you. To do that, I need to open my Google Chrome and here I'm using duck DNS for this. So let's go ahead and open duck DNS and log in with my Google account. So I'm logged in here and let's create pyvpn.duckdns. It's already taken. So let's create PC Mac VPN add domain. So it's successfully created PC Mac VPN dot duck DNS dot org. Now let's go back to the DNS entry and press OK. Now here we need to type the same website address PC Mac VPN dot duckdns.org this is the same address let me just show you one more time it's right here pcmacvpn.duckdns.org let me just minimize it and press ok now is it correct it's just asking to confirm it so press yes now we'll go with the default options so let's select google and now run pyvpn add to create the open vpn profiles like 
if we want to add a desktop to the VPN server or if we want to add our mobile phone to the VPN server we just need to create the user profile by just using this command pi vpn space add and create so let's go ahead and press ok now it is strongly recommend you reboot after installation so let's go ahead and reboot yes okay now it will reboot the system and then we are good to go so the installation is complete the system will now reboot this completes the die pi software installation let's press ok and uh, right click here and uh, restart the session and it will be open in a moment let's go ahead and log in with the root and then the password now we are logged in to our diet pi now let's go ahead and add the users so the user that i want to add is pi vpn add and we need to type the username here that is let's type asus hit enter it's just pi vpn add and hit enter and then we need to type the name so let's type asus and then the password so it's successfully created and we can find the keys right here let's go and copy this and here we need to type cd and then just this and we are here let's type ls to find out and as you can see asus.ovpn now you can use any other method to download this file like you can use ftp to download this file onto your computer or onto your phone or any other method that suits you you can easily download these files from there so let me just download this file and i'll show you so i'm just sharing this folder over the internet by using this simple command and now the folder is shared so to download this file what i need to do is we need to go here and type the ip address that is 73 and then 8080 the port number so the file is right here let's go ahead and download it so the file is successfully downloaded here asus vpn or vpn so before connecting uh, to our VPN what we need to do is just go ahead and do a port forwarding so to do that I need to log in to my router and forward the port to 1194 let me just log in go to services port forwarding and I already forward the port on my VPN to 1194 from here this is the line you can check this out instead of TCP UDP you can only select UDP that will be done the trick let's click apply now I need to open the open VPN by right clicking on it and then run as administrator yes let's click OK and then we need to move this file let's just cut this file and move it to this location program files open vpn and then config folder let's just paste this file here and continue now the file is successfully paste it in the config folder let's go ahead and close this now you will see this file right here on the bottom right corner the asus one but before going further let me go ahead and connect to a different network so i can use this vpn so let me first of all connect to my other network so i am connected here to harry and then let's go ahead and connect to the open vpn by right clicking on it and go to asus and then connect it will ask for the password let's type the password and save it okay now you can easily see that we are connected right here we are connected you can see here 
our source is connected assigned IP 10.802 so we are successfully connected that means the VPN server is working absolutely fine you can also do the same stuff with your Raspberry Pi and share your comments in the comment section if you have any questions you can write down in the comment section I'll try to answer them so guys that's it from my end if you like this video please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day